Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I will be teaching you how to install the official version of Kodi on your Apple TV 4. Before we even get started, you need to first of all have a Mac, have Xcode installed, you need to download the two files in the description, and last but not least, you will need a USB Type-C cable in order to connect the Apple TV to your computer. So once you've made sure you have all those requirements, you can go ahead and open up Xcode. At the time of this video, I am running version 7.2, in case you're wondering. First thing I would recommend you guys to do is go up to Xcode and click on Preferences. Once you are in there, you wanna make sure you go to Accounts, and add your Apple ID. This is gonna make things easier for us during this tutorial, so make sure you add your account in there. Next, you're gonna want to go to File, New, Project. On this window, you want to switch to TVOS, select Application, and then select Single View Application. Select Next. Now project name, you want to give it a name like Cody, for example. Organization name, I don't think it really matters. I just leave it default. Organization identifier, I also leave that default. Language, Swift. And these two checked. Right here, you just want to find the location where you want to save all these files to. I have them saved on an Apple TV 4 folder on my desktop. So you just select Create, make sure this is checked on. So right here is going to do a few things up here at the top. Just going to let it run through until it says Ready. Once it says Ready, you can go ahead and click on Team and you're going to select your Apple ID. After you select your Apple ID, there might be a message below it saying fix issue. You wanna go ahead and click on that and let it run through until everything is good to go. At this point, you want to minimize Xcode. Don't close out of it yet. And then you want to head over to the iOS app signer, which we downloaded from the description. Right where it says input file, you want to browse for that second file we downloaded, Kodi, it should end in tvos.dev. Open it. The signing certificate should be left default the way it is right now. Provisioning profile, you should select the one that ends in Kodi, just like you see on the screen. And then you're going to click on start. It's gonna ask you where do you want to save it. I'm gonna go ahead and save it in that same Apple TV 4 folder. So you're gonna let it go through the process, you can close out of this now. Once you get a message saying done, it'll give you the output where it saved the file. You can go ahead and close the iOS app signer. Go back into Xcode. Here you want to click on Window, Devices. And at this point, it's safe to connect your Apple TV. Once you have connected your Apple TV using the USB Type-C cable, you want to select it. And then down here, you're going to see this little cross. Click on it. Now you want to browse for that file we just created. It should be in the IPA format, just like this. Click on it, click open, and now it's going to install it on your Apple TV. And once that is done, you're going to see it says installed apps. There's Kodi and then there's Provenance, which I have a tutorial about. At this point, Kodi should pop up on your screen on the Apple TV. You can, of course, unplug the Apple TV at this point and continue everything on there. All right, so we're now on the Apple TV. We see Kodi on the screen. We're going to go ahead and click on it. And here it is, Kodi. Now, one interesting thing I found was I went to System Info and it said Kodi 17.0 Alpha. So I don't know exactly what that means, but as we can see, we have File Manager. You can add some repos in there. I went ahead and installed Super Repo just to test this thing out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my server to see if it shows up and how well it plays. I'm not sure if I said this before, but this is an alpha release, which means that it may not be perfect. It's not guaranteed to work 100%, but we're going to see for ourselves right now. All right, so that we're going to stop it right there. I'm going to go over to add-ons to see if that works. 
So as soon as we have like an official version, I will of course update my tutorial. But um, this seems pretty legit so far. If it works, might be a better option than downloading Mr. MC. And once it's out fully and away from beta, we can of course start to compare it to other devices like the Fire TV. All right, so it looks like it's working. Now, one thing they did mention about this beta version is that it doesn't allow you to put your own advanced setting XML, which means you're gonna get that cache filled message that usually shows up. But other than that, go ahead and try this out and let me know in the comments if it's working for you. It's only gonna get better from here on, so if you're patient, we'll have a fully working version that we can all enjoy. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, you know what to do. I'm not even going to mention it, but I'll see you guys in the next one.